Hi, I'm Stacey and this is part two of the Business Healthy Mental Health Awareness Week mini-series on mental ill health in the workplace. Today I'm addressing why helping employees tell their stories about mental health can help. In society, there's a culture of silence surrounding mental health in people's everyday lives, in their communities and in the workplace. Three out of ten employees will experience a mental health issue in any one year. The dramatic rise in the UK's working hours would suggest this is likely to increase by 13% for the UK's working population who work more than 49 hours per week. Many people feel scared and confused about confronting the issue at work. When employers embrace the experiences of their staff and empower them to tell their own stories about living with a mental health problem, we can begin to reverse this culture. Senior leaders are starting to recognise that their organisations are only as strong as their people. In addition, Time to Change has founded that the attitudes, knowledge and behaviour towards people with mental health problems are more likely to improve if people are given the opportunity to learn from someone who's had a personal experience of mental illness. The stigma surrounding mental health can prevent employees from speaking up and talking to their colleagues or their managers. This is often because they are fearful of discrimination or of losing or being seen as incapable of doing their job. It is therefore essential that employees create an environment that creates conditions which encourage open and honest conversations. This is Me in the City is a campaign to encourage conversations on mental health in the workplace, run by the Lord's Mayor Appeal Team and in partnership with Mind, Barclays, Business Healthy and the City Mental Health Alliance this is a new push to help encourage the city to collaborate and raise awareness of mental health and well-being and reduce stigma in the workplace. I hope you will add your voice. This is me as having a launch event on May the 20th. Please take a look at the resources below for more information. Tomorrow I will be addressing some of the signs and symptoms to look out for.